Dr. Yoni Witten here, and this week we're doing a deep dive into the fastest and most effective way to fix your posture. Let's get into this. Posture correction is a subject that I receive questions on on a daily basis, which isn't surprising at all when you consider just how common this problem is. Since 2018, there have been at least six different studies published on the incidence of forward head position, which is by far the most common type of postural dysfunction that we see nowadays. And all those studies added up show that about 70% of our population is now suffering from overt signs of what I call posture prolapse syndrome. What's really scary is most of these studies were done in very young people. Before we get into the best way to correct these postural problems, it's helpful to have a little bit of understanding of how posture works and its governing principle, efficiency. For simplicity's sake, it's helpful to think of the body as a series of cubes stacked on top of one another. So here we have the head and neck, the thorax, the pelvis and abdomen, and the lower extremity. Now the position of optimal efficiency, meaning the position that requires the least amount of energy to keep you balanced, upright, and stable, is one in which the gravity line passes directly through the center point of the structure, meaning half the structure's weight is in front of that gravity line and the other half is behind it. And when you have that type of alignment, it means that a structure, even one as tall as this one, is pretty darn stable. Now in the human body, it means that, like I said, it requires the least amount of muscular effort to prevent me from falling over and keep me standing tall all day long. What you wanna see with a posture to know that you're in that position is that a gravity line passed through the whole of your ear should then pass through the center point of the shoulder, the center point of the hip, slightly behind the knee, down through the ankle and to the floor. That's what your body's looking for. And because all of these structures are interconnected, it doesn't take a lot of imagination to understand what happens when you begin deviating away from that gravity line. So in the case of the boxes, when I begin moving that structure out in front of the gravity line, it doesn't take much to destabilize the whole thing. And then that happens. Now, the higher up the segment is that you move away from the gravity line, the greater that destabilizing effect is going to be. And because that destabilizing effect increases the higher up in the structure that you get, when it comes to the body and posture correction, the ideal place to begin is at the top. Even small changes in the position of your head can have a profound effect on the alignment and position of the joints throughout your entire body. Which is why my number one recommendation for most people when it comes to fixing posture is to increase the strength and stamina of the muscles of your head and neck. Now, there are a lot of different ways to do that, but for any exercise or technique to be maximally effective, what you need are three ingredients. First, you need overload. That means you need to challenge the muscles with more resistance than they're used to handling, which will force them to become stronger. Second, you need progression. That means slowly and steadily over time, you need to be able to increase the demand of what those muscles are accustomed to dealing with, which will keep you improving over time. And then finally, you need specificity. You need to challenge the muscles in the same way that they're expected to function in real life. This simple device checks the boxes for all three of those criteria. This is called the active traction unit, and I'm gonna show you how it works. You wear the active traction unit exactly like you would a headband. So you can see here that it's resting just above my eyebrows. Now I'll point out that the weighted portion of the band which sits in these two tubes is concentrated directly to the front. There's no weight on the sides. There's no weight in the back. So the effect that this has on your body is to gently pull your head forward and downward into flexion. Now, the really amazing thing about this is that your body's natural response to this downward pull with no instruction whatsoever is to create an equal pull in the opposite direction. So it actually pulls you into this position. So most people actually find that they're taller while they're wearing their active traction unit. And because the governing principle of posture is efficiency, your body is going to seek out while you're wearing this, the position that gets half of your body's weight in front of the midline of your body, the gravity line, and half behind. And because we've added this extra weight to the front, it's going to pull your head even further back 
And it does this by putting more curve into your neck. Now studies have shown that wearing head weighting devices like this one can increase neck curve in as little as a single five minute session. Now that five minute session can consist of just wearing the device while standing, which I'll often do at a standing workstation, or you can walk forward and back in your living room while wearing it. You just need to make sure that you keep your eyes up while doing so, and your body will be seeking out that optimal carry position the entire time. The active traction unit accomplishes the overload effect through the use of the two weight tubes and actually adding this very concentrated load to your body. Now the great thing is that the unit itself is adjustable. So for people who are just starting out or if your fitness level is very low, you can actually remove a pound of resistance and start with as little as one pound and work your way up from there. Now it accomplishes progression by building up your time as you go, which will increase your stamina. And finally, it accomplishes specificity by challenging the muscles to work against increased load in the way that they work in real life. When first starting with active traction, I typically recommend that you begin with the lowest weight setting and a time of just 30 to 60 seconds. And I also recommend that you stand in just one place rather than walking around. Now you should do that for a week or two until you get used to the feeling of having that extra weight on your head. So give your body some time to adjust and figure out how to get into that optimal carry position. Once you get accustomed to having the active traction unit on your head, you can begin slowly nudging up your training time. I recommend increasing no more than 10 to 20 seconds from one session to the next. Now, optimal training frequency is four to six times per week, and the best time to perform it is in the morning. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll put the information to good use. To pick up your active traction unit, use the link in the description down below. I'll also put a link for that here. But before you click over, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you're updated every time a new video drops. That's all for now. See you next time.